Happy Tuesday. So FOMC tomorrow, guys. All eyes on this FOMC. And you can see this market is super sideways. Look, if I put a 15-minute chart, we are staying in the box here on the ES. That's the four-hour chart. Do you see? So we had that big move from the 4260, remember? Yeah. And now we're just going sideways before the FOMC. So we need to be very careful, guys. The, the priority right now is to keep cash, 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 cash until this FOMC is digested. Like uh, the cryptos are at a very, very decisive moment. Let me get added. I'm short the market right now, guys. I'm a short at 59 and 65 on the ES. I'm short also some MES that I am losing money. But overall, I'm making money. I'm long. I'm short. So I'm short on the yes. The target on the yes, by the way, is the same target I gave you yesterday. It's this area there towards this uh, 35, 25. So I think we are going to complete the fear around here, right? In the market. So that's the big picture. We might go another 10 points down. You know, you have the VIX going up, you have the DXY going up, you have the bonds going down. So the, this is risk off. You have Bitcoin puking, right? Uh, Ethereum back at the, the entry level that I think is interesting, this 3,400, 3,500. So let's manage our short first, because I'm short on the futures account and trade of it in here. One second. Other one, yeah, the other one too is working fine. We have a 52 re-entry there. I'm going to put, uh, how do I need I want to add more around the 52 area here. Because I'm short from the 60 area almost. I want to add at 52. Well, I wanted to go over Ethereum. Look, I'm going to look at it because things are moving fast. Uh, this is my daily. What's my weekly showing me? And my weekly boxes are not great. We really need to hold 65.3 on Bitcoin. That's the shoulder high of 2021. I think we are going 30. Uh, we have a 52.55 resistance. And we might go to 35, uh, what's this? 35.27 at one point. We are playing a four hour range, people. This is a four hour range, you know? This is 15 minutes on the NASDAQ, I need a three minutes. And so, I need the same. I need the five minutes. I need the five minutes here. Because I want to count the bell. And here it's fine. We can use a 15 minutes. Here. Yeah, see, we're at 43 on SPX. So 50 resistance SPX, which is eight points above. So the 52.58 ES should be big resistance this morning. So this morning, let me show you. I have shorts at the 57 level, 57.58, and I'm losing money on my short MES. 
So I'm showing them yes and yes, but some I'm losing money. Shorting command, risk off this morning. And we got to hold this Bitcoin 60.5 there. We got to hold 65.5 after FOMC tomorrow. Otherwise, we have a big problem on crypto stocks. I'm looking also at AVAX because I've I've noticed when AVAX goes 28.24, it's a big a big support for the market. So tomorrow, if we have a dip at 24 AVAX, that might be that might be the bottom of the crypto. But cryptos is not pretty here. Let me see. If you have cash aside, a little bit of Ethereum is probably going to be okay. Okay. Uh, probably being okay. Don't forget, we have orientation Friday at 11 a.m. The market might be crazy, so we might have to push the orientation Sunday night. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should push the orientation Sunday night for the booking. Yeah, I'm about up $1,300 right now. Just got clip at a bad entry with my MES, but I, 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 I'm turning it around with four ES long run. Target resistance 52.58, target 35.25 on the ES. Is everybody clear? Yeah. I mean, cryptos are not pretty. Let's see what the tech stocks are doing quickly. Amazon is, Amazon is holding extremely well. ICP 10. See, ICP, like if I had extra money, I would add this 810 area. I think within the next two years, you'll be happy. Um, ba, 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 render two. Where is it? Eight thirty renders becoming better and better. Remember, fifty two fifty eight. It's the resistance of the day. Target one forty four. Target two thirty five. Target three twenty six. On the short sale. Okay. Well, Google. See to me. Google, Amazon. Apple, those three, seems to hold extremely well on pullback here. Google, Amazon, and Apple. Yeah, Short's doing well. I'll be right back. So let's recap here the things that are pushing this short. Down here, up here, up here, that's risk off. That means target on the four hour bottoms. Are we clear? Resistance somewhere here, which is 58, 57. Clear? See, that's the, 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 the move I gave you and it's working. What uh, 46 bid now? Forty five seventy five bid. Short continue doing well. So what's forty three? You can start taking some a little bit. Nice. Do you see the 35 target coming? This is a beautiful, beautiful gap. Okay, I gave it to you like really, really well here. I'm buying a third of my position everywhere. 
I'm taking a third of my position every week. Trade of eight, I'm making $5,000. I need to start taking some money here. Order sailed. Order sailed. Order sailed. Order sailed. I took most of my ES, everyone. I took most of my ES. I have the MES 25 shorts. Finally, everything, everything nice. See, we just dropped 55, 20 points together. Straight down. Beautiful. And I made over $4,000 in all those futures accounts. And this is nice. Let's see. Like today, I, I crushed it. 71% win ratio. I'll take it. Do you see the, the target? I gave you 35, 25. Well, I took the 35. And by the way, order filled. Order filled. Okay. I've reduced. I've reduced and took a lot of the profit on my second profit. Was able to book six hundred dollars on this one, six hundred dollars with the leader and two accounts, so it's eleven hundred dollars because I have the copier on this one. I really, really, really executed the target. It's the four-hour chart. Do you see this beautiful four-hour chart in front of everybody right now? Yes or no? From one side of the box to the other side of the box, using all the boxes. That's it. And I don't need to, you guys are all, most of you guys are lifetime or not. So it's not like I'm breaking my voice for nothing. Look here. And look here, and that gives me my entire structure. Yeah, it could be an ugly day tomorrow, stream at 4 p.m. I'll go more into this trade. So look, if you look at the four hour chart, you see this week yesterday on Friday, sorry, at 10 a.m. And those couple of weeks here, Monday and here, see all this area right there? Give me a quick yes, no, because I'm teaching you I'm done for the day. Do you see this area, this area, this area around the edge of our calculator? Give me a quick yes, no. See what I mean? These are the area around the edge of this one and this calculator. You know I'm looking at some reaction, especially after weeks and weeks of the market going up and FOMC coming. Then I do the same exercise. I say, okay. This high right there, this low weak right there, this low weak right there. This is going to be somewhere, this 33.25, the finish line test. Somewhere around here, this will be the support. 33.25. And I love using the four hour chart here too. Structure my risk ratio. Is that clear? Is it clear? I don't know why this this looks like there is a the model setting somewhere. Okay. How do I delete this? Where is it? Um, see. And another one here. See, I had already the box and the three to one ratios.
it's a trick that I am starting to see properly. Okay, now, for everybody that is wondering, number one, the bootcamp this year is very, very different than other bootcamps. I'm going to do a bootcamp that essentially accentuate on prop firm accounts and funded accounts so that we can slowly but surely practice to pass those challenge accounts and use other people's money and keep our money to buy asset like on days like today and tomorrow, you're happy to have cash aside to buy more cryptos if you have, or, or, or good stocks. That's number one. I think that's it for today. I think also on the stocks, um, Tesla is going to have to prove itself at the 160 level. Um, and I, I, I like to accumulate more of the AI. See, AI stocks are going out of favor for now. 158 back on AMD. This is fine. Intel is holding fairly well. But I want to accumulate more ARM. See, those, those are holding very well ARM. I told you to look at it at 97 with Charles when it retraced the last time. And look at this stuff, it's doing extremely well. And the other, the other are not doing well. 129. Okay, so this is one. Um, let's go back. See, I was smart. I told you don't touch the miners. Look, those miners have not done well compared to the other cryptos. Yeah, I mean, today there's bloodbath everywhere and I'm afraid of what could happen tomorrow. And I think a lot of people are afraid, but look at Apple, look at Apple. Apple on a day like this, Apple is going 3%. It's up 3%, like Apple is bananas. Apple is on a tear, guys. Look at this. Apple is coming to the new high. Apple is on its way to 205 here. Apple is about to, to print a new high. So this 170, when I enter, I have a 172, the 10 share. What a stupid asshole. Should have added at least 50 shares. On the tear, Apple on the tear. Palantir, see, Palantir is holding 23 now. Apple, Palantir, Google, Amazon are doing fairly well. Will they sell off after tomorrow FOMC? I don't know, but they are the ones you really want to buy here. Google, Palantir, Amazon, Apple, Arm, those are extremely strong. Put you, I think you should put a structure line on all of them. Which is fine. I'm thinking, should I sell a little bit and re-enter? But I'm afraid that if the feds do something dovish tomorrow and, and some stuff go up 30%, because I got out, then you screwed. It's hard. It's hard to get it. So they are going to inflict max pen until the decision tomorrow is behind us, and then we might have a ramp up within a week to the July earnings. Everybody, watch. This Bitcoin 655, that's that's my target in my mind. 655 and AVAX 2530, 2528 AVAX. Okay, I gave you all. I got to run. I love you. That was a good morning. Yeah, it was good, good morning. You know, I, I told you about the short event of 52 to re enter 52, and he went to the target, guys. I mean, it was, it was a good morning.